don't judge me. So <clears throat> I gotta reside and that won't happen until next year. We picked out a siding already. Um, but anyways, there was a video I talked about how predators will come in and they'll get to the fence and then they'll dig underneath the fence and go right in. Same with this building. They'll come up to the building and they'll go straight down and start digging to get underneath. Well, guess what? I did that fence, you can see up to this. Yeah, I know the siding's off. That's why we get reside. The tree fell on this whole half. Um, so up to this two by six right here, I have fence buried and then I put down a piece of tin and then leaves and stuff fall on it. So the fence stops right there. An animal is trying to dig in right here and right here. See that? So to stop that, I grabbed another chunk of tin. Because on the other side of this wall are the baby chicks. So I do not want them to get in. No way, no how. So by doing it this way, now they can't. Now by doing it like that, see how the tin comes out? For one, nothing will walk on the tin. They'll go on there and they'll figure out they can't dig and they won't go down, but they won't come out here and start digging. They aren't that smart to go out here to go down and go in there, so. It'll work. And then when we go to three side, because this is all got to get side, and then the other side, because a tree fell on that corner, which knocked all this loose and pulled some of the siding off, so it'll be fine for now. All right. So yeah, little tip on chickens. What Should you working on? Catching my breath. <laughs> Putting in uh, this cattle panel. So I have those clips. So I'm gonna use those to tie them up. Bug in my mouth. Tie them up against the fence post so we're not using a ton of these because I was using so many of these just to squish them in there. But now we don't need them. So we can use them somewhere else. And we're putting in three more. So we'll have five total. Tying the tomatoes up against them. It works really good. What are you up to, Matt? Pulling out a root. <laughs> <Here's> the thing. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I don't even think that's the ones that I was talking about. I'm planting all the bushy cucumbers. we we'll just let them take over this area. Well, every once in a while we get a little visitor, a raccoon. We're gonna take that raccoon. They don't like cucumbers because of the prickly vines and leaves. So if you let them grow along the fence, they won't even, they'll come up and they touch it and they'll get out of here. They won't eat, because their paws are so sensitive that they don't like it, so. We're gonna plant bushy cucumbers along the whole way. And as they grow, I'll make them just hop up on the fence. I'm getting ready to plant sunflower seeds. I mean, we still have a ton of that garden mix up there. I'm pulling all the wood chips back. And then I'm gonna take that garden mix and just put a light layer in here. Just to easy push the seeds in and keep going. I'm gonna plant some sunflowers from my teacher. Those are from his teacher and these are the ones we bought. So we're gonna plant them in this row of dirt right here and he'll just spread them out and plop them in. So we had a couple extra seeds for the big, big uh, yellow sunflowers. So he's just going through and just plop on a couple random. The one year we did this, we put down, what was it? A whole package, I believe. And it was a mixture of them and that thing was full. And we put it just thick right here and it all came up and they were just awesome. Some got tall and yellow and some are shorter and worked out good. So these are the same with these, the really colorful ones he got from the teacher. They're a little shorter and the ones that we're, we got, those are taller and they're a bigger head. So it'll work out. We got a storm coming in, so I'm trying to hurry up, but I want to show you what I did. So, you can see I took the weed whip and I weed whipped all the way down to the grass and it dug in a little bit, get all the roots, everything, weed whip it up, weed whip it up, 
all this soil here is the leftovers from the greenhouse and it was a garden mix so I put it along this whole way all the way down to the end of the wood there so now we're gonna plant guess what we're gonna plant borage an edible flower I guess and another edible flower So what I'm gonna do is the borage says it's supposed to be um, 12 inches apart and it grows anywhere from 12 inches to 24 inches tall. So I'm gonna space those like two feet and I'm gonna put marigolds in between. And whatever grows, grows, but doesn't, doesn't. So now you know how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the marigolds in between. I'm not gonna worry about going one by one. So I want it thick. I don't want the weeds and grass taking over the area. So the thicker the better. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you when I'm done. So all the marigolds, borage are planted. Now the borage, I know it gets pretty big. So what I did is I went out about three feet. So one spot was two feet, but both. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so I went about two to three feet, two feet on one spot, but three feet for the borage, and then I just put sprinkled seeds, um, not like a lot, but enough, every couple inches of the marigolds, and we'll see if those come up. Hopefully they do. I think that if we, if they did come up from here all the way down, that would look pretty cool if it was all marigolds and then that borage. And that borage, um, we were actually told by another viewer and a person we follow, um, Kathy. And I, I'm hard with names, so I'm sorry I can't remember the, the site name. But um, anyways, some other people, there's three people that told us about borage and that was really good for the bees. So I looked it up and actually borage is really good for the nectar flow. Uh, it has uh, a lot of nectar, so the, like a lot of juice coming out of it. And the bees, that's you know what they like and it flowers all summer so that's really good because our bees right there will like it so anything to help them if you like this content smash that like button and leave a comment down below and so don't forget to subscribe a little red button down below and uh glad you guys see me again <laughs> bye